Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and as you can see the searing obsession is here, finally, so the resources everybody has been saving up are being spent very 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 quickly, everything smelting and the guys that are actually waiting for the Silas and Vierna Tenex as well so they can swap banners are having a really hard time saving up and I can't hold it in uh, believe me I know what I'm talking about because I'm one of those guys it's very 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 hard to not want to pull especially when you see all those people having so many good pulls themselves but uh, that's not the scope of today's video actually I want to talk about how this, uh, this event looks like what uh, are the rewards what rewards to prioritize and what you are going to want to do to complete this event as uh, efficiently as possible <clears throat> okay so as you can see there's a story mode in which everyone can complete if you are a very early account try to complete as much uh, of this um, story mode as possible after you complete the fourth difficulty, you're going to unlock the challenge mode in which you can just obtain extra resources and deal as high damage as possible for extra rewards. And um, yeah, what is actually cool about this is the fact that you will be able to select an apothesis relic to enhance all heroes. So there is a little bit of an RNG effect here because as you can see these type of relics are have three different difficulties which is rare, purple and uh, epic and legendary. So um, as far as I could see because I haven't tried much I haven't optimized my highest damage dealt yet my team so I can deal as much damage as possible but uh, from what I can tell those are random and include dealing either pro either um, increasing the amount of time that you have to break the uh, the boss's shield so you can make him vulnerable and deal more damage or increase the overall hero's attack speed or increase the bleed timer or stuff like that and the amount of increases and the stuff that you're going to buff up your heroes is random but you can select out of three of those and it's actually a pretty pretty cool um, pretty cool thing that they've done uh, it's pretty surprising as well because this type of RNG also excludes the importance of creating an insane um, lineup so it doesn't mean that you don't have to optimize in order to deal more damage but actually it means that in higher if you want to for, compete for the top 100 or whatever that does mean that um, there is going to be some RNG involved so as you can see this guy managed to have uh, the first place managed to have or to get uh, four legendary apothesis relics uh, three epic ones and one um, rare one so let's go through a little bit uh, let's go a little bit through these so we can see what each, each and every one does so as you can see the swiftness one is um, when hero's HP is above 75%, attack speed is plus 100. So when your heroes, your lineup has, or entire, your entire lineup has more than 75% HP, uh, their in overall attack speed is going to be increased by an extra 100, which is quite good. So um, let's see. Uh, there is a Giant Smite level 2 and Giant Smite level 3. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not quite sure, but I think they increase by 50 each time. So that Giant Smite 2 might be 150 and Giant Smite 3 might be uh, 200. Um, as you can see, there is also an Amber Judgment. Let's see what this one does. Amber Judgment 2. When the boss is inflicted with burning, they receive an additional 40% vulnerability in ma uh, magic damage vulnerability so your overall magic dealers will do an extra 40% damage which is quite good right the lifesteal this is quite good as well because each basic attack restores 4% of heroes HP considering that this um, this uh, type of um, fight basically requires you to have heroes with uh, multiple attacks 
that's quite amazing because they are going to self-sustain a lot so you're going to be able to push for even more damage uh prowess too hero's attack plus 40 percent that's pretty straightforward plus 40 percent overall hero attack which is amazing right um prowess 3 provides 60 percent hero's attack so you can see the differences between an epic one and a legendary um uh, buff so amber judgment 3 that's the same as amber judgment 2 but with an extra increase of 60 percent magic vulnerability instead of 40 so 20 extra amber judgment 3 again and uh bloodthirsty fury which is hero's basic attack landed on targets inflicted with bleed restore six extra rage so as you can see this type of uh, relics that you're going to be able to get during the fight are quite important they are going to dictate quite a bit of your damage especially if you have a high-end lineup so choosing those carefully and depending on what type of lineup you have is quite important um with that in if you're an, if you're an early game player that doesn't really matter as much try to get uh, as much damage in as possible as i said this matters only for let's say people that go want to go really really deep into the um, ranking system but uh, try to optimize so in such a way that you're going to get to at least 50 um, million damage so uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's going to provide you 40 extra golden oath so you see here these there are extra rewards here this crimson rose and golden oaths are actually um, the event currency and and uh, before getting to the event currency at the event shop let's go to the challenge of oath which are actually some quests that are going to provide an extra source of event currency so these these quests are fairly easy to complete if you're playing the game and if you're summoning for last uh, you're basically going to to complete these quests pretty automatically but it's a nice little extra way of getting um, event currency so let's go into the redeem shop this is the most important part as you can see in the redeem shop now we have this notify me button that we can click right so uh, you can see that if i know no if i click on the notify me button under the chat bubble reward that costs 1500 um, golden oats nothing's happening right but if i click the notify me button under the diamond reward it makes that red it creates that red dot so basically it's useful if you want to use it it's not necessary if you know what what to prioritize but uh it can be a way of not forgetting to redeem your rewards so let's use this um, notify me button to show you what you should prioritize in order of in order to receive um, the best rewards as quickly as possible so <clears throat> let's see the only two items in the redeem shop that you can buy with these golden oats are actually diamonds and ancient crystal shards this should be in my opinion a no-brainer i don't think you should ever want to spend your golden oats on the diamonds reward make sure that you buy everything from these uh, six out of six ancient summoning crystal rewards so i'm just gonna buy almost all of them so you can see what i'm talking about i bought four out of six uh, 200 go golden oats to go so this is very important because it's going to help you have uh, or gather up some more ancient summoning crystals and um actually um you can use those for a future ancient summoning event there is an upcoming hero that's supposed to be a chaotic ancient lord that's considered to be very 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 good his name is valderon so if you are going to buy these it's going to help you progress towards uh, getting valderon so who knows so yeah the most important things for the golden oath currency is to obtain the shards after let's say if you get more than what you you need for these shards you can start buying diamonds but i wouldn't recommend it so uh, i wouldn't recommend it if you didn't buy the entirety of the shard summoning reward okay um 
afterwards there is this crimson rose um, currency so with the crimson rose currency you can see that there's a there's a little bit of a more complex situation but before getting into the complex situation uh, I've realized that I forgot to talk about the chat bubble yes I don't recommend you to go for the diamond or the shards uh, for the diamonds unless you complete the shard but uh, I don't <laughs> recommend going for the diamond even if you complete the shard because the chat bubble is going to be quite a nice aesthetic effect so depending on what you prioritize if you prioritize summoning or you prioritize aesthetics just go for the chat bubble if you prioritize aesthetics but i still still um, progress wise for your account the shards for the ancient summoning crystals are going to be more uh, important so back to the to the crimson rose um, sorry to for the interruption back to the crimson rose currency as you can see we have an avatar we have last exclusive artifact we have an epic hero tazira we have rare summoning crystals we have five star psychic powers uh, for the upgrades requirements we have arena permits auto fights and gold so right off the bat i can tell you to prioritize getting the last exclusive artifact first doesn't matter if you're going to ha if you will receive last or not uh, most probably into in the future maybe in the next valentine's day event or who knows we're gonna be able to pull for last again but most probably it's going to be very useful if, even if you don't have last now Pro because you're probably going to get her in the future so getting this uh, artifact exclusive artifact is very important every exclusive artifact is very hard to get so every time you see an exclusive artifact into an event shop make sure to capture it gather it buy it call it whatever you want but just do it because they are very 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 rare uh, Tazira is an epic hero if she is almost as expensive in currency currency wise as the exclusive artifact which is insane because Tazira isn't that strong of a hero yes it can help you during the uh, sticks immortal codex and during the boss from uh, this event because she has an ultimate that provides quite uh, a lot of attacks per second but she's fairly easy to get so i wouldn't go for her even if you let's say want her awakenings you can just don't <laughs> you can i wanted to say you can use soul stones but don't use soul stones she's going to be easy to get you're going to get her through other means so don't spend your resources on buying the zira um, but the second um, the second reward in the um, that you can buy with the uh, event currency and the second reward in terms of priority should be the rare summoning crystals here are five summoning crystals that you can buy for 500 crimson crimson uh, roses so uh, yeah you should go for the last exclusive artifact and then the rare summoning crystals afterwards uh, i would go for the five star psychic power even though if you are uh, doing if you're buying from the black market every single day the uh, hero father and upgrading it you should be pretty far up into the um, requirements for upgrading heroes for example if i want to upgrade let's say shamir which will never happen unless he gets a buff um, if i want to start up you can see i have quite a bit of these but i also have quite a lot of uh, level 40 heroes that i can use to upgrade shamir with so as you can see you don't require that as much you don't need that uh, psychic power as much but it helps it you're get, you're gonna get into a point where you're go it's gonna be harder to farm exp or you're not gonna have stamina so that should be your third uh, third thing in in um, terms of priority so yes so far we have the last exclusive first in priority second in priority rare summoning crystals then five uh, psychic powers um five star psychic powers and then uh you can go for either the avatar if you prioritize hysterics or the auto fights uh and then arena permits and after you've bought everything then you can buy gold because the gold is the least valuable resource 
in this shop don't get me wrong gold is very good and you're gonna need a lot of gold for example to upgrade your items but um, yeah uh, buy everything in the shop and then buy the gold so yes this should be the priority last exclusive rare summoning crystals five star psychic power out of five chances arena permits the zira and gold S uh, yeah and avatar along between after you've bought the last the rare and the psychic power you can go for the avatar if you want in between so yeah i hope this video was helpful make sure to early accounts make sure to complete the story mode uh, mid to late game accounts make sure to, and even early accounts make sure to go as high as possible into the challenge mode so you get some extra rewards don't forget to complete the searing obsession challenges or quests and or claim those and prioritize properly in the redeem shop event so uh, yeah hope this video was helpful uh, if you have any questions or inquiries let me know uh, in the comments below um, I respond to every single comment I see so comment whatever you want tell me how many summons it took for you to get last or what did you get in your summoning session I'm really curious about that uh, don't forget I'm also going to be live on Friday um, Friday the 16th at, um, at uh, 7 uh, 7 p.m. EET so Eastern Europe time um, besides that um make sure to like subscribe this has been andy event horizon gaming mm, bye bye